This is part one of my budget compound towing twin turbo kit. So uh, basically, this is a 12 valve. Um, it's got all 01 accessories bolted to it as far as the turbo um, and whatnot. But to start with, take your exhaust manifold, if you can see it. But the exhaust manifold that's actually off the 12 valve, take it and flip it. Um, see mm. it's gonna be kind of hard to see but you basically have the, the uh, manifold here have the 45 instead of it going down have it facing upward okay I'll explain the spacer here in a minute but that way you don't have to go buy a brand new manifold for you know $600 and then You'll have to reclock this turbo here. This is the stock HX35 and the thing with this is um, If you bolt it in Without that spacer I just showed you right there If you bolt it in without that spacer right here When you try to clock it, it'll hit your exhaust manifold. You'll only be able to clock it to where your um, outlet pipe will be like right about here. So what you have to do is reclock it, put that spacer in first, and then reclock it, and it'll be able to come a lot further down. Um, what's holding me up now from it going further is the tabs where the old wastegate sat. I gotta pull this back off, trim all this down real nice, um, cause I wanna rotate it a little bit further down. To reclock it, it's a, this is a spring clip. Um, all you got to do is basically pull these down and you can either shimmy it out and then pull your housing off, re, you know, re-rotate it, um, or you can just uh, pull these down and then rotate it as needed. Um, that sp this spring clip tends to back out pretty easily uh, once it's pushed down. So my advice is go ahead and uh, push it down, pull it out rotate it and then get it where you want now mine weren't bent like this mine were actually bent way further down so my vice grips or my channel locks kept slipping off so what i did was i uh i finally was able to get it off i actually heated mine up with a little mini torch and then just bent them back so now when i put my uh vice grips on there real easy they don't slip off a lot nicer just a uh, I spent several hours trying to get it back on before I heated it up. So just a, a tip. Um, that is the stock oil feed line. As you can see, because I had to adapt um, in my other video, um, the 12 valve conversion, um, I had to, it explains it in there, but basically I had to adapt um, 01 boss O-ring to 12 valve NPT. Um, so I got to figure that out because my other oil feed line for my bottom turbo down here is going to either have to tee in here or tee into this one over here, which is your um, HX35 line. But you can use a stock one. You can see the length is just fine. It'll be out of the way plenty. Um, this is the HX35 I'll be using. I just got to kind of moved out of the way right now because this is it weighs about 55 pounds and um, I got some other fitment stuff, and this was just kind of in the way, so I just moved it out of the way for the time being. Um, another thing that you will need to get is you can either do some sort of an external wastegate, whatnot, and block this off, or what I'm planning on doing is get one of the uh, spring actuators off from on, online, and basically just attach it so that way it's held closed, and then you'll have, um, when it gets to the preset spring tension it'll be able to open it so but so far that is what I've done um, for the compound turbo setup like I said this is part one um, I'll show a couple more as I get more stuff in I'm waiting on my hot pipe to come in I had to order that so once I get the hot pipe on I'll get everything I'll get the secondary bolted up and we'll go from there uh, there'll probably be about six parts of this video. So, like and subscribe.